Which region in China is more supportive of the open metaverse and Web3? Hong Kong supports the development of open metaverse and Web3. The Hong Kong government hosted its flagship tech event, the Digital Economy Summit 2023, on April 13th and 14th. Leaders of tech giants, including Alibaba, Baidu, Tencent, and Huawei, spoke at the event. Also, virtual asset service providers will introduce a licensing system in June this year. In February 2023, Hong Kong Financial Secretary Po Chen allocated 50 million Hong Kong dollars, about $6.3 million, to Cyberport, a Hong Kong government-run Silicon Valley-like hub to accelerate the development of Web3, aiming to make Hong Kong a global hub for digital assets. Which Hong Kong-based company worth watching in the field of open metaverse and Web3? Let me introduce a gaming software company and a venture capital firm co-founded by Ye Su and David Kim in 2014, Animoca Brands. The company listed on the Australian Stock Exchange on March 9, 2020. Animoca Brands last raised $65 million in a funding round in May 2021 at a $2.2 billion valuation. Investors in this round include strategically important allies such as French video game giant Ubisoft. Seco China also participated in the investment, as well as individual investors such as Justin Sun, who won the Warren Buffett lunch. Since its inception, Animoco Brands has continued to expand the metaverse ecology, using blockchain technology to create and invest in highly popular games such as the hit game Sandbox, racing game F1 Delta Time. Its lofty vision is to provide everyone with real digital property rights. What is Yetsu's entrepreneurial story? Yetsu founded Hong Kong Cyber City in 1996. It's the first free web and email provider in Asia. He joined AT&T's solution systems integration business in 1997, but left in 1998 to found Outblaze. The company developed an innovative web-based multilingual white-label communication and collaboration service. Outblaze manages more than 75 million end users. In April 2009, IBM acquired Outblaze. IBM also used Outblaze assets to open its first cloud computing lab in Hong Kong. Yesu was selected as the Global Leader of Tomorrow and Young Global Leader of Tomorrow by the World Economic Forum. What is the key to the metaverse? Based on the idea that data is an asset in the virtual world, he believes that the key to the metaverse is data ownership. His company Animoca Brands can be considered one of the first mainstream gaming companies to identify and act on two important opportunities presented by blockchain technology in gaming, the digital ownership and game monetization. YesU is building a new business model for the gaming world, leveraging the blockchain's transparent and secure digital ledger to verify the uniqueness of digital items bringing decentralized in-game rewards and better monetization to video games, thus expanding the ecosystem of the open metaverse and achieving sustainability. Animoca Brands was recently included in Fortune Magazine's Crypto 40 list, a recognition of the company's activities as one of the leading global investors in the blockchain space. If this is the first time watching the video, you're welcome to subscribe to the Kellyon Tech channel and easily understand the global cutting-edge technologies and promising projects.